Hey everybody! So, you've been wondering what the heck is up with my channel. I started it and didn't post any videos. That's because first my computer took a crap on me and I couldn't make anything. And so that was fun. Got a new computer, we're all set up. And then secondly, I've been kind of out sick. Uh, I haven't been feeling well, but if you just get through the whole sniffles and stuff, uh, we will get through this together. So the point of today's episode is to show you how to take No Limits files and bring them into SolidWorks. And specifically, we're gonna do SolidWorks 2019 because it's cool and new and awesome. So here you can see we are dealing with Magnum XL 200. Woo! Um, and I want to show you exactly how to get this layout into SolidWorks. So specifically, when you go into the editor, you're gonna to go to the Professional tab, and unfortunately, this is only for uh, no limits to Professional. So if you don't have Professional, I can't help you, and I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to do all those other funky ways, which you can just YouTube, you know, how to get my files, and there's other people I'll show you how to do it. I'm just gonna show you what I do, um, because people have asked, and I'm here for you. So, under Professional tab, there's Import Track Spline, which we're not gonna worry about, but there's Export Track Spline. So I'm gonna hit that, and you're pretty much given some uh, options here. You can just do uh, the distance between points and then what, you know, what spline type. For this, I'm just gonna do point one because it really doesn't matter. All, all you're saying is how many data points I really want, a lot or a little. Smaller number, a lot. Bigger the number, you know, it's coarser, you're gonna get less numbers. So I'm just gonna do that. Go okay, save it to the desktop, Magnum XL. Save, okay, done there. I will go down here and before I put in Excel, I like to just open it up in Notepad and just copy it because I don't know, there's probably a better way to do this just to get it into Excel, but you know, I'm. I'm dumb. I don't. I don't really know how this works. Okay, so you got the number of your data point, which is determined by that number we just specified for data points. Uh, X, Y, Z position, front, left, and up. So you're pretty much given everything you really need, except you might want uh, your right rail and your down. So what I like to do is just do like right X, right Y, and then right Z. And then same for down and up. And then all you're gonna do is hit equals and you do X position plus, uh, uh, well, pl uh, yeah. So hold on, actually, now that I'm thinking through this, I'm missing out some parts. So first, let's try this again. So you're gonna do left X. I'm, a, I'm just not thinking right here. Left Y, left Z. And then you're gonna do the same thing. So right X, right Y, right Z. And then you make your funny equation. So left X will be the X position plus your left X position. Yeah, and then you hit enter, booyah. Okay, so that's it. And then you just bring it over and bring that one over. Now for the right, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the position, but you're gonna subtract the left because it's going to the other side. And you're gonna hit that and bring it over. And then bow wow, chicka wow wow, you bring this all the way down five million years later. Close. Okay, there we go. Boink. Okay, so I know a better way to do this. So first, we're gonna have our three lines. We're gonna do our center, our left, and our right. So for center, I like to just grab these and go, yep, and then go copy, and then I go into a new notepad, save this as center. Wow, center line, I can't type. Ah, uh, Batman the Ride. <laughs> That'd be cool if Matt made that. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so center, and then you do the, the, the same thing for uh, left and right. So let's go here. And uh, there we go. Copy that over, go here, go file new. And this will be, what did I say this was like left? and then the right one. Whoop. And copy this one, so this is gonna be right. And save that. Right. Okay, so you just took the, the comma separated variables and then you put them back into a text file. So you're just playing with uh, the data. So then you go back into SolidWorks, you start a new part, and this is great. You go to curves, 
curve through X, Y, Z points. I think you kind of got the idea of where we're going with this. Go to browse. We're not making Batman. Uh, go to text files and you'll see the three text files you just created. We'll do center line. We go open. It's going to populate every little data point that you grab. You're going to hit OK. Freeze your computer. And there it is. That is the Magnum center line. Boop -ba -doo. Coolio. Now I'm going to get the left curve and the right curve. Remember, always go to text files, go left. Just got to chug through all that stuff. And bam. It's a little slow. There we go. And then we got to grab the final curve, which I believe is the right curve. Right. And ta-da. And there you go. You now have your center line, your left and your right rail in SolidWorks. And this is what you can model off of. So woo, there you go. So that's cool stuff. Uh, and you can start from here. Now everyone's gonna be like, oh, hey Matt, uh, cool, but how the heck do I do this? Do I, you know, go to the very beginning, which of this line and like, what do I do? Do I create a plane and then like find like, here it is, the start of the line. Actually, I don't even know where the hell it is. Yeah, it's like right here. Okay, see, I'm, I'm, I'm proving the point right here. How, how do, where do I even start modeling this? How does this help me? Well, it really doesn't. All this really does is give you a skeleton of what you're working with. You're, the best way I've done this is you're gonna go through, and obviously these are you know points of your line, and split it up. So if you go in your Excel, you're gonna do like, okay, I'm gonna split up every track piece for you know every 100 data points. So you'll go down 100 data points, and then you'll copy these, create a file, and then make your track. So I've actually done that. I've done it manually, and then I've also asked my awesome wife to make a script that also manually does it, or automatically does it, because I'm lazy. But uh, what you can do is take every 10 points and then make that a separate track. I made Magnum, and there's over 160 of these track files. And you're like, holy crap, that's a lot. It's not that bad, though. Um, you can't see what I'm going to talk about in here, so let's go to this file. So Magnum, track one. You take your center line. Remember, I just took the first 100 points, and that's your track file. This is center of track one. Now let's open up track one and see what actually that is. Woo, there it goes. Okay, so here is track one. What I have is the left, the center, the right, and the down. Or what I did is I took that up, X, Y, and Z, and then subtracted that, and then you get your down at X, Y, and Z. And that's what you see here. And I use that as my center line for my spline. And this is actually how I make the track pieces. So I start the plane off at the very beginning, make my spline, follow it, and I make these little cuts here because that's where the cross ties go in, duh. And then I make little like cutouts here so where the track goes in. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. That is how you're gonna wanna go and design track pieces. And if I go back a little bit, I can show you the final assembly which I've been working on. And after spending tons and tons of time trying to figure out why this, just open it. Holy moly, it's gonna take forever. You get the idea, so while it's loading, you can put it together and now you have your track pieces and you can build your roller coaster. So that's pretty double neato. Um, besides the fact that I just froze my computer a bit. Oh, oh yeah, here's Batman. So the same principle applies. What I did here is I'll open up the track file and you can see I have my left, center, right, and what you do is you just start, actually the beginning's over here, so sorry about that. You uh, you start from the beginning of that line and go forward. So taking that giant file from No Limits, splicing it up into your track files, bringing it into SolidWorks, and then you can start your modeling from there. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of where you can start, and I hope that kind of spurs some discussion as to how you can use those features to get your coaster uh, started and as you can see you know once you go track by track piece you can actually get it you know to fully come together and be like hey that actually looks like a roller coaster kind of like this is just a center spline you can see there's divots in here and that's where you put the, the cross ties and then you can glue the rails onto it after um, and obviously these are all 3d printable and that's exactly why you want to get it or get the coaster file from no limits and into SolidWorks so that is the process um, 
and it can get kind of daunting because as i said you go to the, these giant you know folders and it's like holy crap there's 160 files and that's kind of like where you go and how you're gonna have to do it so just stay organized and uh you'll be all right